Well, the Singapore Contractors Association is warning that the tighter measures will drive up costs and could lead to delays in construction. Construction demand is expected to remain strong in the coming years with a steady pipeline of infrastructure developments ahead. But the Singapore Contractors Association says the industry may not be able to cope with more projects amid labour shortage. It adds that the move to up foreign worker levies in 2014 and 2015 coupled with more expensive raw materials will increase cost further. For the, the project already secure, you know, normally the project will last, you know, two years, three years, you know, some of them bigger ones will be last even four, five years. So, of course, those projects, we didn't count in these extra levies, so we will incur extra costs. For all the contractors, the profit margin will get eroded, I would say. Because uh, now the, you look at the, 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 it's a very competitive market. Meanwhile, Lianbeng Construction expects about a third of its projects to be affected by the tighter foreign worker policies. The firm has taken steps to raise productivity, but it says the government can also help, including easing queue times at the dumping ground in Changi. We only have one for the whole private sector. The queuing time can be as good as three hours. My poor driver have to wait for three hours. And our eight trip previously now, he can only do three, four trips. Meanwhile, some operators in the services industry are taking the cut in dependency ratio ceiling in their stride. Sakai Holdings, for instance, will install a new self-serve second-tier belt at all its outlets in Singapore to cut manpower needs. To cost about $250,000, the new system will deliver customers' orders to their table. We foresee that in the developed economies, this will be a real uh, challenge. And Singapore, having gone through the various phases, have come to that phase where we need to really change some business models on how we're going to approach or running a business, uh, where we actually go and dine a restaurant. Uh, there may be changes, for example, like what you see in Japan. You may have to do a lot of things by yourself. Industry players say other ways to boost product Activity in the FMB sector include redesigning jobs, encouraging staff to multitask, as well as streamlining kitchen functions and work processes.